All right, so one other supplemental kit that is very important to my particular plan and kind of the long-term uh, situation, uh, and maybe even the short-term, is what I call the tactical supplemental. And, you know, depending on your plan and your skill level, uh, your level of training, you know, yours may not look exactly like mine, uh, but this is what mine looks like, all right? It's important to me to have a concealable inside the waistband type of system to carry a basic firearm, a uh, basic pistol for personal defense. Uh, so I like the Stealth Gear USA inside the waistband. It's got a slim belt and this is designed to be concealed. And depending on which particular firearm I choose to carry, I've got a double magazine pouch as well as a single. Uh, it really depends on, you know, uh, what I'm doing for that day and what I feel like I need to be carrying. So I like to have that option. Uh, but in the event that, you know, I feel like an outside the waistband system is better, uh, then, you know, I want to have that option as well. So I have that rig in there as well. Again, this is Stealth Gear USA also. Uh, it's just an outside the waistband version, double mag carrier and outside the waistband holster. So that's kind of a baseline for me uh, and whether or not I want to be concealed or not concealed. Uh, one thing with that is because this is a supplemental kit, the way it works within my system is I like to have the outside the waistband available uh, because a lot of people will ask, you know, why don't you put a firearm in your bug out bag and, uh, or your go bag? And to me, it doesn't belong inside the bag. If you're in a, in a situation where you feel like you may need a firearm, that needs to be readily available. So for me, it's either outside the waistband readily available or it's inside the waistband readily available, but more concealed. So I like to have those options. Uh, so that's kind of the baseline for me. And I also like to have other options for different situations as well. And so for a general kind of tactical rig that I would be using just if I was moving through the wood line or patrolling, uh, I'm gonna use something very simple, more, more suited to like, uh, like the web gear, the old web gear of the military. Uh, so I like this UW chest rig from Mayflower Industries. Uh, I used this in Afghanistan and it was a really solid piece of kit that worked really well in conjunction with body armor. Uh, so I think this is a really good one that you can use for just normal patrolling, normal walking through the woods, where it's not really appropriate to have a plate carrier and body armor and all that. And they not, that level of personal protection may not even be part of your tactical plan. So this is a good baseline way to carry some additional magazines. Uh, the GB2 IFAC fits in here with the supplements on the side. I've got a Spartan Blades CQB transition tool right here that's readily available. Uh, if you have training and that's part of your plan, then that's a good thing to have in there as well. That's just what's in mind. Uh, my communications in here, if I'm traveling with a group, uh, I need to get a hold of someone. A simple, you know, Rhino GPS. I don't really use it for the GPS function so much as I use it for the two-way radio function. It's not really long distance, uh, but it's a good way to communicate. So whatever your particular communications plan is with your particular community and group, that's what you should go with. But that's what I have in there. A few additional magazines, and it's just a really lightweight, small rig that I can put you know, in a supplemental kit for those times when this type of a rig is necessary. Uh, so that's what that's for. You can take it another step up if you want, and it fits your plan. And depending on your local laws, regulations, you've still got to follow that to even possess and have these. Uh, but, you know, there are certain scenarios where the rule of law kind of breaks down and that no longer matters. So, you know, let your conscience be your guide on that. But this is the plate carrier with armor, body armor that I carried uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan as well. I still like it, it's extremely comfortable. This is the PIG system, patrol incident gear, the PIG system. Uh, magazine carriers, place for my comms. And then of course I'd put my IFAC on this side. But again, depends on your particular situation, your plan, your training, your skill level, and what you feel like you need to supplement and do have the ability to do kind of tactical things, if you will. Um, you could even go as far as to, you know, have a helmet if you think that's something that, that fits in your plan. Uh, this particular helmet has a mount for night vision. It has hearing protection built in that works with some comms. Uh, but I typically don't like to wear a helmet. I just have one available in case I need one. So 
plan out your own tactical supplemental kit and make it suit your plan, your skill level, and uh, your needs. But this is definitely a supplemental kit. It's not something that should be in your baseline. You don't need body armor to run to leave the coast if a hurricane's coming in or run to a safe location because the tornado's coming in. It's not always appropriate to have guns and body armor and all this other stuff. Have it available for other situations, that's a different story. But for me, this is a supplemental kit that I would include with my, within my larger system for those times when I do need it.